Okay, what is going on everybody? Rogers Base here with my live reaction review for One Piece manga chapter 1049. I'm just going to be very transparent with you guys right now. First and foremost, people have told me this is going to be a pretty good chapter. I'm excited for it. I know there is something related to a Kaido flashback in this chapter. That's getting me super excited, but that's not the thing. I need to be transparent about. Many of you guys probably already know this. I did a video yesterday, but this is probably the first major video that many of you are seeing because I know a lot of you just tune in on Sundays for the One Piece streams. If you are not familiar, Cacao Page, uh, the, the publisher of Solo Leveling, issued a copyright strike on my channel yesterday. I am currently in the process of getting that strike retracted, but it has been not a fun 24 hours. So I just, I wanted to put that out there right now in addition to we did uh, our avatar streams yesterday on twitch and the vod of yesterday's stream is still processing and it's having a bunch of issues on the twitch version of it so I i'm not having a good morning hopefully one piece will make me feel a little better <laughs> just as i know one piece makes a lot of you feel a little better um but i just i wanted to lead right off with that in today's video because if people are like what the heck he doesn't seem as happy usual self it's because i'm not so without any further ado let's get right into one piece manga chapter 1049 and like i said if we do end up getting a kind of flashback in this chapter that's fantastic that's probably going to end up making me feel at least a little bit better so um all right we're gonna refresh the page 1049 here we go the world that should be german double sixes ah emotionless excursion uh why the book in the lab burned up freeing the brothers and we've got um yonji over there and niji so i think that goes without saying that ichiji is here so again people who were thinking this was blackbeard or any of blackbeard's associates obviously that is not the case burning red ichiji is here to save his brothers. Okay, moving on to the first panel of the chapter. We are picking up right where we left off with Luffy punching down on Kaido. Well done. You fought hard to reach this point, but you cannot change the world. And you've got Luffy, looks like he's being burned almost still from that fire dragon attack from Kaido a while ago. And all right, so here we go. Here we go. Where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? Let's see this. Okay. Very good. I see the flashback bars. This is good. He did it. He's only 10 years old, and Kaido's already the ultimate soldier. So this is young Kaido. Okay. I want more combat. 46 years ago in the Vodka Kingdom. Okay, like from the Reverie? Am I thinking of the right thing? The Vodka Kingdom was the one with all the, um, the little Russian dolls, right? Our country can't stop going to war now. We have to win and loot the enemy to pay our heavenly tribute. Otherwise, the world will take away our human rights. Why does everyone bother to obey these celestial dragons anyway? Knock it off, Kaido. Whoa, whoa. Kaido looks so weird young. He looks so weird. I'm enlisting you. You'll join the Navy. Because our country doesn't know what to do with you. And Kaido's all chained up. Why should I be a government lapdog? In exchange for custody of Kaido, this country will receive the right to attend the next reverie. Okay. And Kaido's like, don't use me as some political pawn. Kaido's escaped. And we've got the ship right there. You've got his original Dead or Alive poster. Look at this. Only at 70? <laughs> so he was young, young when this happened. This is rookie Kaido. We captured Kaido. He escaped again? Apparently he gets caught when he gets hungry, apparently. <laughs> this is a prison ship, not a cafeteria. <laughs> so he just purposely gets captured so he can eat and then bounces. Oh, oh, full of lead. 44 years ago on the pirate island of full of lead. He's strong. Who is this guy? He's only 15 years old? Yo, and young Whitebeard? Wait, you little snot, you want to be a pirate? Rox wanted to meet you. What'd you say? Wait, we are flying through this. Wait, there's there's good stuff here. Don't don't fly through this flashback. Rocks wanted to meet you. What do you say? Kaido's joined the Rocks Pirates. They're unstoppable now. Wait, wait, wait. He's already aged up. No, 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 no! <laughs> don't do this to me, Oda. Don't do this to me. I went through five, six, seven something chapters of them running through the stupid seducing woods in, in a whole cake island. Do not tell me 
I get a rushed one chapter of Kaido flashback. Don't do this. Not today, Oda! Don't do this to me. I'm not going to be happy. Kaido's joined the Rocks Pirates. They're unstoppable now. Big trouble, Kaido. Come with me. They're flying. We're going to God Valley. Yo, okay. Look at the silhouette there. And then it's already the Rocks Pirates are no more. Bruh. Why is he speedrunning this flashback? What kind of joke is this? With all the monsters they've got? Apparently it was a sailor named Garp who did it. Nah, they just couldn't stand each other. No teamwork in that group. Now where'd you go, Kaido? You big rat? Okay. Young big mom there too. Wait, he's an adult. Why? In the ten years since that incident, you've become the embodiment of might, Kaido. We're skipping all of that. Throughout human history, sheer might has solved all problems. Of course it has. Humans are animals. Survival of the fittest is the law of nature, and he's already got king. You're damn right about that. And other rocks remnants will make a name for themselves too, I'm sure. Right, of course. White beard and, and big mom and stuff. Weapons are what speak loudest in the world we live in. And I've got a deal you'll want to hear about. And so this is obviously how the weapon trading started. We're going to take all these pampered, noble-born rulers and drag them off their ivory thrones down to the battlefield with us. That is what I call equality and freedom. A war where only, uh, excuse me, a world where only war decides a man's true worth. Okay. I wonder where that kid heard it. Yamato dropped Joy Boy's name. Apparently Odin's desire to open the country is meant to welcome Joy Boy. If he's the same as the man you're waiting for, King, then I think I know who Joy Boy is. Who is he? Yo, what? What, 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 what? What? Wait, 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 wait. So we're jumping out of the flashback, and now we've got the Cypher Pole agent obviously running away with the body of the other Cypher Pole agent trying to get out of there. Isn't that what he's carrying, or is that just the one agent? I don't know. I'll, I'll go to my chat for this. I'll relay to my chat, because I can't really tell. It looks like... Okay, the guy's running like this, and he's got his hands down like that, and then you can see his knee down there, and you've got his other leg, but then there's like a thing trailing off of it, so I'm thinking that might be a body. He might be carrying the other Cypher Pole member. I don't know. Either way, the other Cypher Pole guy is out of here. Luffy will win. I know he will. Okay, do it, Momonosuke. Come forth, flame clouds. Do as I command. All right, we've got the lanterns up in the sky. Under the dome, the performance floor. What's that sound? Save everyone a water of Zo. Okay, and you've got more of Raizo and Jimbei washing stuff away. Okay, what? All right, and you've got Beppo and Brooke. I mean, it's cool seeing everybody, but can we get this whole shot of the water? Okay. Okay, Kinemon and Kiku, and there's Usopp. We got Nami saying water with little Chopper and Otama. The water's coming off of it. Where's the water coming from? Hold strong, don't get swept away. Treasure repository, second floor. You have been so brave and strong. And getting back to the stuff with Hiori and Denjiro. For all these many years, Lady Hiori. That's a, that's a really nice shot of Denjiro bowing his head, looking down at the young Hiori with the burning head of Orochi in the, in the foreground. That's pretty cool. Does it feel like the island's falling? The flame clouds disappeared. We're going down. Onigashima is going to fall. You've got Kaido saying, what kind of world can you create, Straw Hat? He says, I'll make... Meanwhile, Momo's going, come forth! And he finally summons the flame clouds. Very good. A world where my friends can eat as much food. And he's slamming down on Kaido. You can see the cracking sound effect. Kaido's eyes whiting out. As much food as they want. Punch! Beautiful shot of Kaido flying back. 
Very cool with the Conqueror's Hockey. You see his eye slamming down. You see all the different dreams flying up in the sky as well. Very cool. Very cool. As he slams into the ground, King, I think I know who Joy Boy is. Well, who is he? He's the man who shows up to beat me in the future. <laughs> and then you see him swirling down, slamming down. In that case, I suppose we'll never see him. <laughs> Too late. Luffy's here, baby. Joy Boy's here. All right, and you got the music notes all over the place. Beat the scary dragon, bring the Kozuki clan back. All right. And there you go. That's it. Okay. Okay. Momo's on the ground. Onigashima's fallen. Luffy's done. You still get the music there. That's a nice shot. And that's it. That's the chapter. All right. Here's here's what I'm gonna say. I want I want to preface this by saying I I am not looking to make anyone upset or anyone mad. If you loved this, great. That's I'm happy for you. That's fine. Fine. Um, review. But again, I want to preface this by saying, please do not be upset at what I'm about to say. Okay? This specific chapter is very oddly paced. Why we got two pages, three, really, of Kaido flashback where we basically just find out Kaido's whole thing is he wants a world where everyone can fight each other. And that's what equality means to him. And we don't get any information about Yamato, any information about any of the stuff with the Rocks Pirates at all. I feel like we're missing crucial information about his past. I like seeing the thing with Cypherpol, but then like we get another... We got as many pages in this chapter of the water rushing through Onigashima stopping the burning as we did of the flashback. And I think that says everything I need to say. The end of this chapter is phenomenal. The last one, two, three, four, five pages, phenomenal. The I want to make a world where my friends can eat as much food as they want, bringing it back to the original theming of the stuff that happened in Wano, great. Really, really loved that. Getting that call back to what was said during the flashback, where he said, Joy Boy's the guy who's going to beat me in the future, that's fantastic too. That is really, 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 really good. Really, though, I have to think back on it. Beyond the stuff with Denjiro in the last chapter, and one of my big complaints at the last chapter is it felt like to me like there was some filler in that too. I kind of feel like this could have been like three chapters ago. I kind of feel like if they were going to wrap up the Kaido fight like this, they could have just done this already. You know what I mean? I kind of feel like one whole chapter could have been half the water and half Denjiro, and then this. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed. I, I am actually disappointed in this chapter. I am. Um, and again, I don't mean to make anybody upset, and I'm not saying my opinion is more valid than yours or whatever. I'm just saying that, for me personally, this did not work as well as I think it could have, which is a shame, because obviously 1044 was so solid. And, uh, you know, even the stuff after that, too, with the reveal of Gear 5 and the Joy Boy stuff, I mean, it's been great. But, I don't know. The, the last four pages, last five pages, excellent. The, um, man, I'm really bummed. I'm really, I'm, I'm bummed about the Kaido flashback thing, too. Now I kind of wish I didn't know there was a Kaido flashback in this chapter, because maybe I was expecting too much. I don't know. Um, I, 
I mean, again, these are my initial thoughts. I just, I don't love it. There's a break next week as well? Really? Okay. Um, I like that they're showing a cypher pole. That was a nice little shot. And I did like that one shot of Denjiro um, holding Hiori. I thought that was cool too. I guess maybe the point of this, this water panel was to just show all the characters that are here that are safe. So you've got like BB and Rhodey and, and Brooke and Robin and Beppo and everybody. So you're seeing all the major players. Apu, you see him washing away with the other number. Um, you see Kawamatsu, you see Kinemon and Kiku, you see Usopp. I don't know, man. I almost even feel like the and what kind of world can you create straw hat thing could have been like they could have had just the flashback and just that and I think it would have been a more solid chapter. And I feel like this is a situation in which an arc suffers from having too much stuff to cover at once. I think that's my issue. How do you feel about Onigashima? I mean, I don't it's on the ground. I think that's fine. You know? Like Momo summoned everything within him to get those flame clouds to catch it that one last little bit before it lands on the ground. Fine. Um, even that was also kind of a little underwhelming with the way they've been setting that up so much throughout so many of these chapters. To have it just kind of end like this. Again, I think that's my issue. Is that he's set up for like this epic Kaido backstory. He's set up for this epic moment for Momonosuke using the flame clouds and that stuff gets relegated to like three pages maybe four pages and the same amount of time as the water I just I'm just I'm disappointed I'm really disappointed I, I don't hate the chapter I think it's fine and I think the ending portion was good but I'm disappointed I think for the highs that this arc has had, this arc has had so many highs. The highs have been so high that to conclude the fight like this so quickly, I don't know, something doesn't sit right with me. Which is weird because these last five pages, like I said, removed from this chapter, I think is a really solid final attack for Luffy. These last, yeah, like six pages, really, I think is great. And even including the moment with Momonosuke and, y and Yamato looking up in the sky, creating the flame clouds as Luffy is slamming down on top of Kaido, I think that's really nice. I think story-wise, that's, that's mixed in a really nice way. Um... Hmm. I'm bummed. I'm honestly bummed. I'm sure there's going to be something more, too. I'm sure there will be. Um, in future chapters, because there has to be. Because, I mean... I'm, I, I trust in Oda. I'm sure he's going to show us more about Kaido. But if this is Kaido's whole backstory, that his whole backstory is just... A guy who wants everybody to fight, and that's what he believes equality is. That is... If that is truly his whole story, that is the most bare-bones, disappointing backstory they could have given for Kaido. Just, like, straight up. And maybe it's because they wanted to have more of the stuff, like, with Joy Boy, and I get that. And I like that. I like the fact that he's been waiting for Joy Boy to be the one to beat him. And that Joy Boy's obviously Luffy. That's great. I have no problem with that. That's fine. That aspect of the flashback is good. Um, but for a Kaido, for, for Kaido, who's been... I said for a Kaido. For a enemy that's been such a massive looming threat for the past decade of One Piece. To get... Four pages before his final attack in his final fight against Luffy? 
dedicated to his past, and his past essentially equates down to I want everybody to be able to fight with each other. I don't know. Because the way they're doing that last attack, this is, like, these last five pages, these feel very Oda-esque, right? This feels like a very Oda-esque way to end this fight. Really epic moment where Luffy says one last thing to the villain. The villain has that thought bubble before the last attack. Honestly, that's how you should know it's, it's probably over at this point, is because you've got Kaido thinking, King, I think I know who Joy Boy is, the man who shows up to beat me in the future, as he spirals down into the ground. I think that is meant to be, for all of us, the little hint that the fight's over. Because this happened with Big Mom as well. When Big Mom lost against Law and Kid, remember there was that moment where she's like, Law, Kid, I'll make you pay for this, and she falls into the ground. And I think just as, I just saw somebody in my chat say it, I think Rahat just said this too. Even if it's not over, it is over. Right? Because he's accepted defeat. I think Kaido's looking up in the sky, he sees the, the attack from Luffy, he sees his silhouette, he comes to realize this is Joy Boy. Where even if he felt like he wanted to keep fighting, doesn't matter because Joy Boy's here, right? Joy Boy's the one to put him down. Joy Boy's the one he's been waiting for. I am very curious what this is going to mean for the story, though. If he now knows who Joy Boy is, and he's coming to the realization that it's Luffy. I am curious what this means for the rest of Wano. Also, technically, still not the end of the act. So there could be more. But I also, I don't, I think that's a good moment to end it. If you're going to end the Luffy Kaido fight, I also feel like, despite how I feel about the weird pacing of the chapter overall, I still think the last attack is a solid conclusion for this fight against Kaido. Right? I still think it'd be a solid conclusion. I think the only thing that tells us there's more is the fact that there wasn't an Oda box declaring the winner. Right? We didn't get an Oda box at the end of this saying the winner is Monkey D. Luffy, Kaido has been defeated. Like, we did not get that. So maybe that'll happen during the next chapter. Maybe that's something he wanted to save for 1050, right? That's going to be the big thing for 1050. You're going to get that Oda box. Kaido's down. Right? Maybe. Uh, it's a shame there's a break this upcoming week because I, I do feel like there's a lot of potential here for some cool stuff in the next chapter. But when I talk about these chapters in my initial reactions and my reviews, I'm just speaking off what's on the page. And like I said, the, the pacing this week is, is pretty disappointing. And this is going to be a painful break, I think. Normally, I don't know, I'm not really too bothered by breaks, but I feel like this one's going to be a pretty rough one. Um, it's cool that we saw the Cypher Pole thing, though. I like that we saw him get off the island. You see him skywalking. So you know, he's going to go report back to those government ships, I'm sure. Oda loves milestones, says Suga King. I think the fight will end in 1050. I agree with you. I do think that's what's going to happen, too. I think that's when it, what's going to happen, too. Yeah. I also do think it'd be ironic when Oda was like, I don't want Luffy to just beat him with a giant punch if he does actually end up beating him with just a giant punch. <laughs> and that was his little teaser for what how it was going to end. Um, I mean, again, thematically, I think this is great. I think getting the, um, the little fire lanterns flying up in the sky, I think that's excellent. And, you know, paired with the stuff with Momonosuke and the flame clouds and Luffy's declaration, he wants a world where everybody's going to eat. I think that's that's nice. That's nice. Man, I expected more out of that Kaido flashback, though. I really did. And maybe we will. Maybe we'll get it next week. In Oda, I trust, right? This is a, this is a wait-and-see chapter for me. This is definitely one I couldn't give a, a review score to. 
Because I feel like I need to see what 1050 is. It really depends on where 1050 picks up. But I can say definitively, I, I did really love those last five chapters. I think those were great with him slamming down on Kaido. Um, yeah, that's it. Dang. I could have used like a really, a really good chapter this week. That's a bummer. But, okay. Is what it is. Um, well, let me, let me read out some memberships real quick. Because there were a lot of people who were donating and a lot of members and stuff, so thank you very much for being in here. Let me um, let me start reading some of these out. So first off, thank you very much to Hollow Avarice for gifting five memberships to the channel. Thank you very, very much, Hollow. Greatly appreciate that. Um, as many of you guys know, actually, YouTube gave me gifted memberships now. So now people, just like how on Twitch you get gift subs, now you can get gifted memberships, which is pretty excellent. So really cool to see that. Oh, I just realized, too, we have to do, um, wait a minute, we have to do the thumbnail. We got to see what thumbnail James drew for us this week. Let me see this real quick. Hold on. I am very curious what he went with. Uh, hold on. Let me open this up. Let's see James's thumbnail. I can't believe I almost forgot that. Thumbnail art by James. Here we go. Ooh, 1040. Wow, there's a lot going on in this thumbnail. Holy mackerel, there's a lot going on here. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Flashback Kaido and Luffy doing the final punch here. I'll, I'll zoom in and show you guys this. Wow. <laughs> He's doing a lot. Look at this. Holy mackerel. That is gorgeous. I gotta find room for all of that in the uh, in the thumbnail. Here, hold on, I'll move this over here. Wow! Also, it's got my Twitch stuff on here too. Let me remove that. Here we go. Border. Neat! Here, I'll move this over here then, while I'm doing this. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Where'd it go? There we go. Wow! Dude, it's so weird to see young Kaido without the tattoos though. <laughs> Very nice as usual though, James. Always killing it. I particularly love this Luffy shot. With Luffy's eyeball and the scar underneath him and then him screaming. And I love the, the sort of like toned down colorization of Kaido as well. I like this. Where it's a little desaturated. Very neat. Gives that flashback vibe. A little bit of a bummer, like I said, that we didn't get more. But I think... Yeah, beautiful, beautiful job in the art at the very least. I feel like we would we should have gotten more flashback in the chapter, but James is working with what he's got, and he did an excellent job, as per usual. James has yet to disappoint me with my thumbnails. He's been doing an absolute killer job. Go follow him, Kentaro PJJ on Twitter. Shout out to James. Really, really great stuff. Really, really beautiful. Yeah, I love this. I already have an idea of how I'm going to make the thumbnail. I'll put myself in the middle. I'll put... The text down there, have this on either side. That's going to be a good one. Yeah, very nice. Good work, man. Good work. Um, all right, let me open this back up. Hold on, let me start answering some super chat questions. Here we go. Uh, are you going to be checking out 1017? I'm not today. I'm not going to today. No, I'm not going to. I've heard that it was very good, and I'm excited to watch it, but I'm, I'm not in the mood to watch it today. So I'm not planning on watching it today. I think what's going to end up happening... Um, I talked about this on my stream yesterday because we were doing Avatar. I think today I'm going to finish recording off-camera the stuff for my Book 2 Avatar video. So many of you might not know this. I've already um, done my first Avatar video. I already uploaded my first video, my reaction recap for Book 1 of Avatar The Last Airbender. I've never seen Avatar before. Here, I'll go back to this other screen to show you guys real quick too. Because um, I think many of you might not be aware of this. But I already uploaded it. It's, it's up. It's here, so you guys can watch it. Here is my... Whoops. Man, I have too many screens over here. Here is my first reaction recap for Avatar The Last Airbender. This goes through all of book one. We did all of book two on stream this past week, so I'm going to go uh, off camera today, record the script for my book two video, and then that'll go up next Friday, and then the Friday after that will be my book three video. Um, but yeah, this will all be up there, so... Yeah, but definitely make sure to check that out. If you uh, have been one of those people asking me to watch Avatar for a long time, definitely check that out. Um, 
All right, let's read some of these super chats. Let's read some of these super chats. Let me say thank you to some of these members. Once again, shout out to the person who gifted five subs. Incredible. Thank you to Boss Cobra for becoming a member. Thank you to Gunman for becoming a member. Thank you to Soge King for becoming a member. Thank you to, I can't read that name, it's in Japanese, but he dropped three Rogers base hearts. So thank you very much for becoming a member. Thank you to uh, Hadi for becoming a member. Hadi Salah, thank you for becoming a member. And thank you to Zachary Umstadter for becoming a member as well. Nakama to all of you. Thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciate that. Uh, first super chat came from Andrew, who said, I think we're going to see Kaido alive next. Momo shows up looking like an adult Odin and delivers the final blow and the judgment because Oda said it wouldn't end with one big punch, though this was the biggest punch I could imagine. You know, Andrew, I would actually really love to see that. I would love to see Momo, despite the fact that he's obviously wiped. We see him on the ground in this chapter. Um, despite the fact that he's obviously wiped out on the ground <laughs> right now, he's pooped. Um, I would still really like to see him transform into adult Odin and maybe walk over to Kaido. I think that could be really, really cool. I think that would be really neat. Yeah. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, Roberto says, Roger, good morning. Uh, maybe they'll make Kaido's flashback look better in the anime than they've done it before? Maybe. I'd hope so. <laughs> Rahat said, script, baka. Well, yeah, I need a script for the Avatar videos to write down my favorite benders of the week. Obviously, the reactions aren't scripted, but the videos have to be scripted naturally. we got to have a good, um, what's it called? Cohesive frame for the video. Alex uh, donated and said, Teching said this about the flashback, skipping around, that maybe there are big important things that will be revealed later, so he had to skip around it so as to not spoil it. I think that's probably what ended up happening as well. I think Teching is right on that front. Um... I think, you know, that's probably true. He probably did skip around a lot of stuff so as to not spoil us on big revelations in the future. But considering the fact that we've been waiting for this moment for so long, I kind of feel like maybe he could have thrown in a little extra something there. Um, yeah, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Like I said, overall kind of disappointing for me, but you guys could feel free to disagree. Mike Mancool said, I think what we got um, was what we needed from Kaido's flashback for now. I'm assuming we'll all see more of them during the God Valley flashback. Oh, here's hoping we even get a God Valley flashback at this point. I've sort of learned to not have expectations when it comes to um, when it comes to what he's going to show and what he's going to include. So I feel like if I set myself up for a God Valley flashback expectation, I will most likely be disappointed because that's exactly what happened with this chapter with the Kaido flashback. So, yeah. Ozzy said, uh, not only did we not get a complete flashback, but I at least thought we would maybe see a glimpse of what Zebek looked like. Still a pretty good chapter, though. Yeah, there you go, Ozzy. There you go. Henry became a member and said, in Oda, I trust. There you go. Yeah, again, I'm sure he's going to show us more in the coming weeks, but it's definitely a bummer that, um, definitely a bummer we didn't see more. Yeah. Goku said, I hate to be that guy, but I think you missed my membership. Um, to be fair, I should have joined a long time ago. It would have shown up. Oh, you sh you became a member before the stream started? Well, shout out to you, Goku. Nakama, Goku. Goku48071. Nakama to you. Sorry I missed it. Yeah, if you became a member off stream, then I, I would not have seen it on stream. So, apologies for that. And Hendrix just became a member as well. Thank you, Hendrix. Nakama. Thank you. Um, Naruto. Naruto Toad Sage donated and said... Kaido will probably stay in Wano. Luffy earned Kaido's respect because he is Joy Boy. If Kaido leaves, the people of Wano are not strong enough to fight the world government. Hmm. So your idea is that Kaido is going to stay in Wano country and protect the people of Wano from the world government now that he's seen that Luffy is Joy Boy? You think the people of Wano would allow him to do that after everything? Or maybe that would be like his punishment, right? That his punishment would be that he has to protect Wano forever? I don't know. I mean, that's an interesting idea. Would certainly be a weird way to flip the story on its head, but I, I, don't, I don't see a situation in which Kaido is welcomed back into Wano country to protect the people of Wano country, even with Orochi gone. I just, I don't see that happening. Yeah. Couldn't Yamato just do that instead? Well, the assumption, I think, I was taken away from that, is that Yamato is going to be joining the Straw Hats. 
which I think most of us have sort of come to agreement on on some of these streams, right, that Yamato is going to be joining. But who knows? Dr. Luffy donated and said, uh, Kaido falling into the ground in a human-shaped hole in the ground. Now Luffy punched him with the same impact that Kaido went into the ground in dragon form. I'm going to read that again because I, I there's no punctuation there and I don't know what you're trying to say. Kaido intro falling into ground and human-shaped hole in ground. Now Luffy punch with same impact that Kaido went into ground in dragon form. If anyone wants to break that down for me, please do. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Kaido, Kaido intro falling into ground and human shape hole in ground. What? Let me go back and look at the chapter. And then, now Luffy punched same impact that Kaido went into ground in dragon form. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Dr. Luffy, I got what you're talking about now. You're talking about when Kaido fell off of Sky Island and made the imprint in the ground when we first met him. Got it, got it, got it. When he tried to jump off. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. That's what you're talking about. Okay. Got it, got it. And now Luffy's punching with the same impact and Kaido's going to the ground, but now he's going to be in his dragon form. I got you. I got you. Okay. Um, DeWood, by the way, just donated five euros. Appreciate that. No message there, but donated, so appreciate that. Nakama. Um, Mike Man Cool donated again and said, Oda clearly didn't show Rox or anything from the Kaido flashback because Rox is none other than Caribou. <laughs> there you go. Um, just Jason and Clockwork Logic just became members. Thank you very much, Nakama. And Asaf said, look, uh, just became a member and said, look at 535 Page 14, could it be rocks? All right, let me pull this up. Chapter 535 of One Piece. Let's see this. Five thirty-five, page 14. Okay, let's look at this. Five thirty five, page fourteen. So this is during Impel Down. Page fourteen, could that be rocks? Oh, my God. Wait, what? Let me, I'm going to get my volume so I could show what I'm talking about on screen. Let me get my physical volume. Because you're probably looking at this and you're like, I can't see the screen right now. Hold on. Five thirty-five. This would be in this omnibus. Or maybe it'd be the one before. 537? No. Or no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my goodness. Okay. If you go to this page in 535, right? Right here. Chapter 535 which is in the midst of Impel Down. It's when we get introduced to Frozen Hell for the first time. There's a character right there, look at that, that looks kind of like Rox, who's frozen. And the line right beforehand says, is he dead or is he preserved for the future? And it seems like a throwaway line from like this prisoner but then someone says, don't be ridiculous. And then it goes into showing the other prisoners. It does kind of look like him. 
is he dead? Because that's also interesting that that's the line, that the guy says, is he dead or is he preserved for the future? That is very specific. Is he preserved for the future? Like for the future when Joy Boy finally comes? Like what's going on right now? Where Kaido has the revelation that Luffy is Joy Boy? And Joy Boy's returned? Because you would think someone like Rox, if he was still alive, or they were keeping him in Impel Down, that he would have been in like one of the lowest levels of Impel Down, right? That he would have been completely locked down on a level below even Shiryu and everybody else, Jinbei, all the rest of them, Ace, all the rest of them. But he specifically... Like, why would he be in the frozen hell? He'd specifically be here to be preserved for the future? I mean, this is... This is a wild revelation. Shout out! Who pointed this out in my chat? A soft hey man. Member for four months pointed this out. This is genuinely amazing. This might be... Rocks. Because you would think that the world government would want to keep him away from everybody else. But if they chucked him into a cell and froze him in Impel Down, and they're preserving him for the future for some other event, I kind of love that idea. I really do love that. Good eye. Even if that doesn't end up being true, I think that's A-OK. -okay. I still think it's awesome. I still think that's a really cool idea. That's a really, really cool idea. And that would make that throwaway line about him being preserved for the future actually mean something later on. Especially because the thing you see right before that shot is Luffy lying there crying out for Ace. Seemingly defeated. And... Now that I'm looking at this again, wait a minute. See, now I actually think we discovered something. I think Oda... I think Oda, Master of Foreshadowing, did actually put something in here. Because look at the scene right before this thing with rocks. This is... this is mind-blowing. Look at the very... oh, man. Look at this. You get the assumption... Right? Let's just assume for the theory that this is rocks being preserved for the future in the ice. Look at what's right before. Right before you see that. Look at what's right before. Does that look like anything to you? Luffy melting? Screaming out for Ace? Near death? Luffy melting near death. Does that remind you of anything recently? At all? Think about it. You shouldn't need to think too hard. Melting Luffy right before, right before a throwaway line of a frozen prisoner and impel down being preserved for the future that kind of looks like rocks. I don't know, man. That almost... That's wild. If that ends up being that, if we actually find out that that prisoner was rocks and he's being preserved for the day Joy Boy awakens, I'm going to lose it. That is an awesome, 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 awesome theory. Great finding that, whoever found that. Man, really cool. But why would the world government want to preserve him? I have no idea. No idea. I'm not Oda. <laughs> Maybe if he was like a natural enemy of Joy Boy or something, I have no idea. I have no idea. That is awesome, though. Uh, Manga Lawyer donated and said, that's actually old news? Really? Um, people made videos about the Frozen guy a few weeks ago, and then Oda addressed that character and even named him. Really? Could you get me the name of the character? Uh, Manga Lawyer? If you happen to have the page on the One Piece wiki for this character and who this is and where Oda addressed the name of this character, I would like to know. 
Because that's seriously amazing, seeing that. Uh, Jacob, by the way, just became a member. Thank you very much, Jacob, Nakama. And War Galore became a member as well. Thank you very much, Nakama. Um, Talam donated and said, Are we mad about the fact that Kaido's flashback lacks substance or the fact that he's being defeated without showing his awakening? Especially after speaking highly of Luffy's. Very underwhelming to me. Um, I don't particularly care about the awakening thing. I just assumed he already is awakened, that he's been fighting to his you know, highest potential throughout the course of Wano Country. So I'm not really bothered by that. I'm more bothered by the fact that the, the flashback was lacking substance. But that's for me personally. Um, Jojo Games donated and said, Kaido will protect Luffy um, from the world government assassins because he sees Luffy as Joy Boy now. So a lot of people seem to believe this idea that Kaido is going to be the one to hold off the world government to allow Joy Boy to do his thing. Okay. Uh, King K donated and said, Do you think there's a connection between Enma, the King of Hell, and Zoro's Ashua being a Buddha reincarnation in the realms of Buddha, similar to Enma, who guides souls to the next realm? My answer to that is short and simple. Sure. Sure. If Oda wants to make a connection there, absolutely. Um, but I, I think we'd have to see more. Yeah. We still... Honestly... We still got to know what's going on with the thing with the Grim Reaper and Zoro. That also has not been addressed yet. So maybe we'll get some answer when we get, uh, get to see that fully revealed. Who knows? Uh, Hollow Avarice became a member and gave me the exact name of the person in the cell. They said, uh, look up Cairo Kureo. That is the name of the frozen guy. Cairo Kureo. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, here we go. This is him. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, man. So he does have a name. Oh, R.I.P. to the Rocks Theory. That was so cool. That was such a cool idea. But no, unfortunately, this is a named character. This is a named character. It's not Rocks. Here we go. Cairo Correo, prisoner on level 5 impel down. Frozen spiky hair and wears a prisoner uniform that's almost completely covered in ice. Nothing was known about his personality, but judging by the fact that Correo was considered a dangerous person and imprisoned on a brutal level of impel down, where prisoners with a bounty of 100 million and more are kept, it suggests that he was very strong before his arrest. Oh, so he's not Rox. I mean, maybe he could still be related to Rox in some way. I don't know. That'd be interesting, though, if they randomly bring back this character. That'd be kind of cool. Cairo Correo, thank you very much, Hollow Avarice, for clearing that up. Appreciate that. Um, Waffling Waffler, Eduardo Conseco, and Tyler Bird all became members, so thank you to all of you. Nakama, Eduardo being a member for 30 months, coming through with a 30-month membership. And then Tyler, by the way, shout out to Tyler Bird, I'm scared of your family. I've watched Ozark. I'm sure you hear this joke all the time, but I've seen Ozark. I'd seen what the Bird family can do. I'm freaked out. <laughs> but Tyler, thank you very much for becoming a member. Appreciate that, buddy. Nakama, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Soga King said 535 times 2 equals 1070. That's when we're going to get the revelation and flashback for Rox. Look, if this ends up being connected into Rox in any way, this Cairo Correo guy... Maybe you're right with your prediction. Who knows? Maybe you're right. It's too bad the theory got debunked, though, because that really was a cool one. And Sweeney just said, yeah, this doesn't have to necessarily be rocks, but a foreshadowing for rocks being frozen Mari Joa or something like that. Exactly. It could be still a foreshadowing, even if it's not rocks. There you go. Love your content, by the way, Roger. Thank you very much, Sweeney. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Clement Horton donated and said, do you think that the world government will bust or call Wano once uh, Cypherpole agents report in? Maybe. Maybe. They could. Um, man, I, I, I'm ready to get out of Wano now, though. I'm feeling it now. I'm good. Like, I'm good with Wano now. I'm ready to leave. I'm done. I'm like, this. we got this last punch from Luffy. I'm good. I think maybe, like, a volume's more worth of content, and then I'm ready to get out of here. Like, I want the part... And now, because I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't personally have faith we're going to get... More of a Kaido flashback. Um, I just don't. I would love that. I would love to see more next week. And we'll wait and see. I hope I'm wrong. I really do. I hope and I pray I'm wrong. I hope we get more information. Um, but I'm not expecting that. 
I really, at this point, just want the party and the end of arc revelations about the rest of the world. That's the stuff I'm always most excited about, so, yeah. Thank you again to Apex Maw, to Salim, excuse me, and to Jammerwatt, all for becoming members. Greatly appreciate that, not comma. Also, Lucky98 points out that 1058 will officially be the 150th chapter of the Wano Country arc. Man. Man, oh man, oh man. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I, I don't, I don't necessarily, I, I'm just ready to get out of here. Yeah, I'm ready for like a new location. I'm ready for something else. I know there's other stuff that's still being set up in Wano that could potentially be really cool, like an excellent fight with the world government I think could be awesome. I think that'd be really, really neat. Um, I think there are still some story beats we need to see. Like you said, you know, many people in my chat have said, I think we need to see Momo in human form, looking like Odin, some type of interaction with Kaido there. Um, a, a revelation about what the future of Wano is going to be, where Yamato is going to go, what Momo is going to do. I think that stuff will be good. Um, but really, I, I think I only need like a volume's worth at this point. I think that, that would be good. That would be good. If they're not going to give us more of a Kaido flashback. Again, if we're going to get more of a Kaido flashback and more information than just what's here, instead of just skimming through it, then I think that would be excellent. And, um, and I would love to see that. But yeah, I, I kind of just I want to know what's going on in the rest of the world now. Because obviously there have been massive consequences for what happened here. There's going to be, right? With Law and Kid having taken down Big Mom, that's going to make waves. If news gets out that Luffy's defeated Kaido, that's going to make waves as well. Um, so I think there's really cool things that could happen. Yeah, really cool things that could happen. If any consolation, if Oda's willing to go as far as naming even a random prisoner, then I do think we can trust he will fully flesh out Kaido. I hope so. I do. I hope so. Jacob Santilli said, I was tickled when I realized that uh, Luffy's, after Luffy's fruit reveal, all his moves are based on animal-based names. Very cheeky, Oda. <laughs> well, his moves were all based on animal names because he was training on, uh, what's the name of the island where he was training on? Ruskina or whatever? The island where he was training for two years. He was fighting all the giant animals. So I always assumed his attacks were named after animals because of him training on that island. Nero the Joke Emperor donated and became a member and said, I also want to see what happened to Sabo, you and me both. Absolutely. Uh, Tyler Bird, by the way, donated again and said, I believe we're going to get more of Kaido flashback in the future. Likely in a rocks flashback, Oda likely has to walk on eggshells um, here not to spoil anything. Yeah, I think that's probably what ended up happening here. Yeah, I'm sure that's what ended up happening. Uh, thank you, by the way, to Henry, who gifted five subs to my community. Gifting a membership to many of my longtime viewers, Bubba Mac, Elizabeth, Scott, Alec Porter, and Strays. Thank you very much, Nakama. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Definitely appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, it says here that I missed a donation from Rob, so I'm trying to find it. Rob Harley. Rob, what did you... Uh Oh, here we go. I found it. I found it. Here we go. Here we go. These are the ones. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, a bunch of them. Here we go. These were a bunch that happened during the actual uh, read-through of the chapter. One came from Dr. Doom saying, I think there's a reason Oda can't show anything from the Rocks area yet. We'll get to it later. Echoing what a lot of other people have said. Um... Hollow Avarice also said the same thing. If this is a tease for a full flashback, I'm fine with it. But if this is all there is, I would be disappointed. But congratulations on the gift beta. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And how not? Thank you for becoming a member. Appreciate that. Nakama, re-upping your membership. Um, Satwick became a member and said, expected backstory, um, like what we got for Odin. I am very unsatisfied. So, okay, I'm not alone. That's good. Not alone. We got um, a $20 super chat from Andrew saying, I don't think a full kind of flashback would have made sense. All the rocks, pirates, God Valley, and things that should be revealed later. For Wano, Kaido didn't need one. His flashback um, for this arc was Odin's. I'm going to agree to disagree there. Yeah. Um, where is the one that I just missed from, from Rob? I just missed it again. Hold on. Your super chat is eluding me, Rob. Here we go. Uh, Rob said, I agree with you. I want to like this chapter. There's a lot to like, but then we got so much on the Ice Oni stuff and Odin's flashback. I do wonder why we only got a couple pages on Kaido's. Yeah. And I think, I think everyone else has addressed it 
to high heaven at this point than I'm sure it was to avoid spoiling things that are going to be revealed later in the story. But at the same time, I think there's other things regarding Kaido. I mean, he's such a massive character in the story that he could have shown us that would have been interesting. That would have helped speak to his goals beyond just, I want everybody to fight with each other, that's true equality. And that I was basically a pawn for my government to enter the reverie. Like, that's not enough, you know, for Kaido. In my opinion, in my opinion, it's not enough. Uh, yeah, and a lot of other ones, we'll get to it later in the story. Uh, Mr. Fabulous said, for me, the pacing is accurate because it's supposed to be the climax of Wano. You can't have a long flashback cutting Luffy's fight. I'm sure, um, for sure, sure that there will be more. There you go. Monkey Thief uh, became a member and said, your criticism was super tame compared to JD's. Really? What did JD say? I am curious to see what JD said. And Hassan said there definitely has to be more Kaido flashback for sure. Random Flair donated $20. Thank you very much, Random Flair. And uh, Sultan said, I know that silhouette's probably Big Mom, but do you think it might have been Shaggy? This is my first ever Super Chat, and it's only right for it to be to you. I'm a huge, longtime fan of yours. Thank you very much, Sultan. I'm surprised this is your first Super Chat, because I've seen you in here so much. So I appreciate you being here, Sultan. Thank you very much for being here. Um, I mean, I think it could very well be Shaggy. Sure. Sure. I think it was probably Big Mom. But I still haven't written off that Shaki was part of it. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, you missed my donation? No, I got your donation, Sultan. I literally just read your donation. I just read it. Don't worry about it. I just got you. Nakama. Thank you for your support, man. Appreciate it. Uh, let me see. This next one comes from Lethal42, who says, My pet theory is that Shandora got onigashima Um could have been the original left eye, that the clouds under the city even look like smoke somewhat. You know, I've actually seen some people saying that. I've seen some other people saying that. Yeah. Did the cacao guys say anything about the copyright issue yet? Nope. Nope. Sent in my retraction email, my retraction request, and they've done nothing. So unfortunately, I've still got the strike. They haven't done anything. Um, if you want to let them know that the strike should be retracted, what I highly suggest you do is go to my Twitter page, go to my pinned tweet on Twitter right now, go to my pinned tweet, go here and retweet this. Let them know this is completely wrong. They should not have given me a copyright strike when I'm the one that's got filters, I'm the one that's got music, I'm the one who makes it transformative and they keep up a bunch of people that haven't done that. Leave a retweet on this, send a comment, send stuff to, to Webtoon, to Kakao Page, let them know this is completely wrong, I should not have gotten this strike, and they should absolutely retract the copyright strike on my channel. Please do that. That's more important to me than any donations, That mo it's more important to me than anything else right now. I want to get this copyright strike retracted, so please go do that. Please. Um, here we go. Andres Garcia said, hey, Roger, I am really sorry to hear what happened with the strike. I hope everything works out. Thank you very much. Um, I'm with everybody else. I expected a more in-depth flashback. Uh, I'll be checking the Avatar recap after this, though. And greetings from San Diego. Well, thank you very much. I'll be seeing you in San Diego at San Diego Comic-Con this year. I've gotten confirmation I will be going. Um, I can't say what I'm doing there, but I will be at San Diego Comic-Con, and there will be something pretty exciting. So stay tuned to that. And uh, awesome. Thank you very much for that. appreciate that. Tyler donated again and said, how would you feel about Luffy and Kaido being finished, but Kaido not being finished, getting back up to fight the government, and he gets to die the death that he wants? Again, a lot of people seem to have this idea that Kaido is going to fight the world government and seemingly, you know, has been moved by Luffy being Joy Boy. So if Oda can make it make sense in the story in a way that satisfies me, I'm all down for it. Yeah, I would love to see it for sure. For sure. Uh, Gagan... Chima donated and said, solid chapter. The last pages were really great, but I agree. The pacing in the beginning was very oddly paced. At least we got a little bit of Kaido's backstory, but I was certainly expecting more from it. Overall, though, good chapter. I think he feels exactly how I feel about this chapter. Overall, fine, you know, not... But again, for a chapter that was potentially the conclusion of Luffy and Kaido, I should not be saying, it was solid, it was good. I should be saying... Oh my god, 10 out of 10, one of the best chapters of Wano Country, and we're not saying that. So I think that speaks to 
um, the disappointment in this chapter. Yeah, but agree, it's a it's a good chapter overall. It's just weirdly paced and and disappointing. Yeah. Sultan said I could finally afford to donate now. <laughs> well, I appreciate you. Thanks for being here, man. Thank you. Uh, Gabe D. Champ said, um, I'm ready for Wano to uh, to end to hear the reverie stuff, but there are so many open... Wait, wait. What is this? Let's move in. I'm ready for Wano to end to hear the reverie stuff, but there are so many open story threads in Wano. The Poneglyph, the Big Mom Pirate, Sunisha, the World Government Ships, etc. Yeah, exactly. Like, all of those things, though, I feel could be answered relatively quickly. Right? Of what's going on with them. Like, I would have loved to have seen that. Instead of seeing that Kinemon and Usopp and Kiku are fine, and that the water was washing them away, like, of course they're fine, right? I would have loved to see what's going on with the big mob pirates. Similar to kind of what we got in this chapter, the one thing I really appreciated was when we got to see that shot of Cypherpole flying away. I thought that was kind of cool. I liked that a lot, so I would have loved to see more stuff like that. Um... Talum donated and said Kaido knocked out Luffy multiple times and Luffy got back up. Luffy knocks Kaido down once and we're to accept that's the end of it. Still very underwhelming. Yeah, I, again, I, I think there's probably more to it. I have to reserve my full judgment until 1050. What's your guess on how many chapters of Wano are left? Ideally, I would want only one more volume's worth of content. And I think they could wrap everything up and then we get into those massive story revelations, world building of what's going on, the repercussions of Wano Country. That's kind of what I want to see at this point, yeah. Ideally one or two. I'm kind of in agreement though with the, what's going on right now and the fact that there's another break and that the next chapter is going to be the very end of May that I kind of feel like maybe Wano's not going to end this year. And that another volume's worth of content would be 10 chapters, right? Which would take us through, assuming no breaks, one, two, three months beyond the end of this month, which would be June, July, and August. So at the earliest, Wano ends in August, at the absolute earliest, which is still a long way to go. And at the latest, I think mid next year, at the latest, absolute latest. Oh, wow. Thank you very, very much to James Gillian donating 90 pounds saying Raj love your reaction I'm a bit disappointed by the lack of satisfactory info about Kaido but I loved the chapter as much as I'm ready for Wano to end and for the people to have a happy ending I'm sadistic and I really do want to see the government issue a buster call on Wano first off thank you so much for that massive donation really appreciate that um a lot of you seem to want this buster call on Wano country and I kind of feel like based on what everybody else was also saying during the Super Chat questions too about, you know, what the fate of Kaido would be, I kind of feel the only way to counter a Buster Call might be Kaido, right? That maybe that is the, the epic death that Kaido's wanted, that he faces a Buster Call head on. But also, hasn't it been said before that he's withstood Buster Calls? So, I don't know if that would even be enough. Southwick said, I'd love to see Big News Morgan's now working up his schemes to hype up the headlines. Agreed. Agreed. Andres said, I just realized I spelled your name wrong. Apologies. Yo, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Andres. Don't worry about it. Um, you gave me money, so you could spell my name however you like. <laughs> Apex Maw said, uh, what if you have to die first to awaken? Law could have actually died momentarily against Dofi triggering this. So then what if Kaido wants to die awakening his fruit? Well, I think he knows he's not Joy Boy now, though. Right? Maybe he does want to, but he's already awakened his fruit. See, to me, I'm going to say this right now. I'm going to get my thoughts on this out of the way right now, because I guess some people are still kind of confused, and I've never clarified this. I believe because Kaido's fruit is the fish fish fruit, right? It's a mythical fish fish fruit. I believe his awakening was when he turned into a dragon, that that was his awakening. Because the whole myth of the koi going over the waterfall, going underneath the shrine and turning into the dragon right? I think if you had the fish fish fruit and you didn't know how to awaken it, realistically, you know, <laughs> it might not mean much. It might not mean much. You'd just be flapping around like a magic cart. But that would give Kaido a reason to want to go to Wano country, right? Because if he goes up the, the waterfall into Wano, you know, underneath the shrine, if he swam up there and he turned into a dragon, 
and he was able to awaken his fruit, I assumed that was his awakening. I assumed him being a dragon was his fruit's awakening. And then otherwise he would just be a fish fish fruit user. Yeah. Yeah. Goku donated and said, uh, main reason I decided to join right now is to show my support for that strike. I'm so sorry that you got that for no good reason. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, real anime fan said, I hope the world government tries to attack now that the fight is over, only to be intercepted by Sabo, Vivi, and Luffy's Grand Fleet, um, who would then drive them out of Wano, setting up the party and the reverie info that they need. I mean, I would, that'd be fine. Fine with me. Cool. I'd be cool with that. I'd love that. I'd love Sabo and Vivi and Luffy's Grand Fleet showing up. I don't think that's going to happen, realistically. Um, but I would love to see it. I certainly would not be disappointed by that. Yeah. Spicy Kimchi just went, whoa, gifted memberships? Yes, sir, we got gifted memberships now. People can be uh, can become members. People can gift memberships to people. Also, the way it works, if you missed my, uh, my test stream for it, is the way gift memberships work on YouTube is if you're somebody who's been watching my videos regularly, basically YouTube has an algorithm in place where it sees how many comments you've left on my videos, it knows your average watch time on my videos, and it favors gifting memberships when people randomly gift five memberships, ten memberships, whatever, it favors gifting memberships to people who are very active on my videos and in my streams. So it actually rewards people who have been here for a long time, who maybe can't afford a membership, they're the first ones who are going to get the memberships. And I think that's awesome. I really do like that a lot. I like that it's a way to reward people who have been longtime viewers and longtime subscribers. I think that's really neat. Uh, DeWood donated again and said, uh, we didn't see the box declaring Luffy's victory like in the previous fights with Zoro and Sanji. So what do you think about that? I think Kaido will stand up again for one last round. I think that's a high likelihood at this point is that, yeah, we'll see one more moment from Kaido where he stands up. And then maybe, you know, you guys are right. Maybe we do get Momo transforming into adult Oden. And Kaido sees that. And then somehow we get like a, a parallel of what happened back in the past with Oden and Momonosuke. Where then Kaido sees Odin, freaks out, and then someone goes in for the last slash. I think that'd be kind of cool. Maybe Zoro. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, by the way. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but maybe. <laughs> Manga Man Drew donated and said, first super chat on your reactions. Well, thank you very much, Manga Man. Saying, I want to say that we did get a lot of mini flashbacks involving Kaido throughout Wano, and I really didn't expect a big flashback. Did we, though? We got get a lot of mini flashbacks involving Kaido. I mean, we got like the Odin flashback, and I guess that involved Kaido, and that was Wano related, but we didn't really get much about him pre Wano country. You know? But I understand if, if you didn't necessarily want the big flashback, that's fine, you know. Jacob donated and said, So what you're saying is Kaido is Gyarados. Cool. He literally is. Yeah. Like that's that's Magikarp and Gyarados are based on that myth. They're based on the myth of the fish going underneath the shrine and turning into the dragon. That's literally what they're based on. And that exact mythology is what Kaido's fruit is based on, too. So, yeah. Andres Garcia said, Is there going to be a way to meet you at San Diego Comic-Con? Didn't realize you're going. I gotta get a ticket now. If it isn't sold out by now, I've been a fan for years. Potentially. Andres, potentially, but don't... Stay tuned for more details, is what I'm going to say. There will potentially be a way to meet me. But I'm honestly not sure, and it's up to the company that I'm going with. But, rest assured, I will keep you posted. Uh, LaFlair just became a member. Thank you very much, Nakama. Thank you very much. And Eric McKenna donated $20 and said, My only thought against your Kaido Awakening is Momo. He had the same fruit and instantly got a dragon form. And honestly, it kind of gets rid of the Awakening hype, IMO. See, my thought process behind that is that it was a successful clone of the fruit, right? That Vegapunk manufactured and messed with the fruit, where it bypassed the need to awaken. So right away, Momonosuke had the dragon abilities because Vegapunk messed with it, right? Because it's a smile fruit. The whole thing is that <laughs> the um, it, it's, it's an artificial fruit meant to replicate Kaido's fruit. So because he messed with it, he modified it, I just assumed that's how he's able to be a dragon right away. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's weird how many people feel unsatisfied by this. Oda's usually a very generous person. Well, I, I mean, 
I don't know. I don't know. I I am very much on the side of people who are disappointed in this chapter, unfortunately. Um, Because I feel like flying through the things in the way that he did and the pacing with the water didn't personally work for me. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I know a lot of people just want to just enjoy the chapters for what they are, and that's fine. You know, enjoy it. Don't don't let our criticisms or anything ruin your own enjoyment. I think that's fine. Um, I could see Zunisha pulling Wano to protect Momo and Wano so the world government couldn't find them. Yeah, Zunisha's kind of a wild card. Zunisha could do a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Sultan said, meeting you would have me starstruck, not gonna lie. Oh, come on! It's not like you like me or anything. <laughs> uh, and Rob said, a, a YouTube algorithm is actually useful and isn't broken. You love to see it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> exactly, yeah, the YouTube algorithm that gives members uh, memberships to people who are longtime subs. Exactly. So, all right, guys. Well, I think I've exhausted this chapter. I think I've, I've gotten through everything I wanted to say. I think I'm good. Um... It's a shame that we're getting a break next week. I'll tell you right now, don't expect a mini reverie. It's not going to be happening. I know I've done them for the two most recent breaks, but I'm not going to be doing them again. Um, if I do do a mini reverie, maybe it'll be at like the end of the arc or something, but don't expect one this upcoming week. I just want to warn you, because um, I know some people expect that kind of thing. Uh, I will be actually busy this weekend, so I don't think I'm even going to have anything to upload on Sunday. Uh, maybe what I'll do during the week is I'll record a reaction to 1017. And then I'll upload that uh, next Sunday. Maybe I'll do that. But um, but I, I probably won't even do that, to be honest, because I'm really worried about this strike. I really am. Because the whole thing is when you have a copyright strike on your channel, if anything else strikes you, you're, you're, messed. you're messed up. You know, you're kind of screwed. Um, so I really, I, I don't know if I want to risk it. So I don't think I'm going to be uploading anything other than the book two and book three avatar videos and then maybe if there's like pokemon news or something in the next two weeks i'll upload that um but i think most of my stuff is going to be relegated to twitch for the time being while i'm dealing with this strike obviously the one piece stuff isn't going anywhere um but that's that's that yeah i think that's that so thank you everybody for coming through Oh, one last donation came from Eric McKenna saying, I agree with you, and actually I really like that thought. So the next question is, what makes it a failure if he could even bypass the awakening process? Uh, I would assume that it would make his fruit a failure because it doesn't have all the same powers right away as Kaido's. I think ideally Vegapunk's best artificial devil fruit would have given the user all of Kaido's awakened powers right away, but as you can see, Momo is struggling with making the flame clouds, and thus it's a failure because it's not as powerful and doesn't instantly have all the abilities uh, of Kaido's fruit. You gotta work for it, so yeah. All right, well, I think that takes care of that. I think that explains everything. I hope my copyright issue gets resolved soon. Please, like I said, please, if you care about my channel at all, please go on Twitter, retweet my pinned tweet, tweet at Webtoon, tweet at a cow page, let them know that they should retract my strike. Please, please, please do that. Um, for the time being, though, I'm going to go record the benders of the week for my book two avatar video go watch my book one avatar video if you haven't already me and brandon worked really hard on that and uh until next time i will talk to you guys later also one last one read this out real quick from asaf who donated saying luffy's fruit got its name changed by the world government so maybe cairo Kureo is the same deal anyway it's a weird place to keep rocks in right to the public at least isn't it see there you go Maybe there you go. Maybe they changed the rock's name to Cairo Correo. There you go. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm heading out. Take care, everybody. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Bye-bye, everyone.